Hi, my name is Nikki Jones. Welcome to my channel. If you've not been to my channel before, welcome. Uh, this is where I like to talk about different different things, uh, reflect really on my own things that have happened in my life with hope that that's going to help you, you know, with a, giving you a deeper understanding of yourself because when my third eye started to open up, is, and that's what my topic is about today, third eye, when my third eye started opening up, I didn't know what hit me. It was like, um, it, it was such a intense, like, it went on for a while, and my awakening has gone on for a good three or four years now, and it's, I'm on my, I'm in my third year, and... Life's very different after my third eye's opened, you know, because I'd tell you a little story when I was walking along from the refuge and I'd gone to see to treat myself to a bag of chips and uh, I ordered these chips and I decided to sit on a bench. So I went and sat on this bench and this bird flew down. Now bearing in mind I used to have birds, I had an aviary and I've also got parrot. So I kind of know how to read a bird as well a little bit. So I'm sitting there eating my chips and this bird sort of hops over to me and looks up at me. So I give it a chip. And then some more people walk past me and they sat on the bench next to me. And I watched this little bird. It was only a little tiny bird. And he hopped over to these people and he sat there and he waited for them to give him a chip. And they didn't give him anything, so he hopped back to me. And I could just, and I had this instant, like, oh my God. Like, I felt that I could read him. I felt like I was him. And that was a really weird feeling. And from there, I remember also that day, I remember walking along and thinking, oh my God, this woman was talking. Um, I was I was bumping into people, you know, and they were talking to me like as if it was coming from some other force. Like um, it, it, this was my message. I was mean. I was meant to bump into this person. I was meant to have this conversation. I do believe in fate. I have always had a very big imagination. Um, a very, very, very big imagination. I still do it now. I only have to look at trees and I see faces and I see. I see shapes and I see everything and I believe they're there, they really are there, um, but not everybody can see them because a lot of people's third eyes are closed. So this is what I've written about this, okay. Uh, the third eye is where your third eye opens to a different level of consciousness. There's many, many levels of consciousness. It's not just one level and then you're there. It, the, it's a very slow process. Well, it was for me anyway. So opening your third eye and the signs of your third eye opening and how to open it. So there's a few ways that you can try to push it to open. Um, you can massage it and see, close your eyes and see a nice purple light glowing from there where you're rubbing it. And just, yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, so sit in a comfortable spot with no interruptions. Turn your phone on to flight mode. Get used to doing that because it's really good for you. Just turn your phone to flight mode just an hour a day. And if people can't get hold of you, then so be it, okay? There's always messages, there's always, just turn your phone off for an hour a day. <laughs> That's my tip of the day. Um, I sit in a comfortable spot with no interruptions, light a candle. I always say it's good to have a candle. Yeah. See, <laughs> I'm terrible. Inhale and exhale. 10 times, right? And do it this slowly. Don't go because you'll pass out. <laughs> now focus on 
the location of your third eye chakra and imagine a velvet light sphere of light energy in the middle of your forehead. Concentrate on the color purple, which is for the color of the third eye chakra color that is. How do you know when your third eye is open? Mm, I, I had so many strange things happening uh, and mad ideas. I'd have like, for me, this is what happened to me. I'd have a massive meltdown. Like I would cry and cry and cry and cry and cry. And I didn't know why I was crying, but the pain would be coming out. It would be so painful. And that was the start of my awakening. And every time I finished having this, like, awakening moment, I just felt that, I felt like I was just like, reborn, like, enlightened and refreshed. And that I had these massive imaginations, m ma massive, ma um, sorry, I have these massive downloads that would that I'd have all these, oh my God, I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And out would come my pen and my pad and I'd be scribbling it all down and making notes. And I'd be sitting there writing something for hours and hours and hours. And I did this as a kid as well. So there's something in that, isn't there? So strange ideas and visions and your creative side will come out. Definitely, definitely comes out. Um, your intuition really, really, really comes alive. You know, you get these intuitive thoughts. I mean, think about the word in tune. So you're in tune with yourself. That's your intuition, right? You're in tune with yourself. So, this, our ability to feel things, uncomfortable vibes, like, you know, when you walk in a room and, and everyone stops talking and you're like, oh my God, were they talking about me? You know, and you, or they were having an argument or a debate or something and you've walked in and you feel that vibe. It's a horrible feeling, isn't it? When you feel that. Uh, so, and your empathy will come out all of a sudden. You'll feel real empathy for animals and for people, and people that are helpless, you know. Your empathy will really, really expand. Uh, so that, to me, once that kicks in, that's like, a, that's another level, right? You know, I wrote this upside down. Told ya. Now I've lost where. <laughs> where now I wrote it upside down. I thought I'll write myself a list, you know, first before I start. Now I'm looking at it upside down. <laughs> right, hang on, hang on. Oh, in her eyes. Oh, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, so your inner eyes, your inner eye is the, the third eye which sits uh, like round about here. And you decide that you need to make healthy changes like your diet, um, what you eat, what you wear, what you look like, who you go out with. You know, everything will change. Everything just just has to change. Um, so number four, I've got pointless conversations, negative people just stand out to you. Like, look, I could not stand any gossip, any gossip, not in the slightest. I couldn't stand it. And if anybody came around and gave me drama, I'd be like, get out. I, did, I wouldn't have the TV on because I couldn't stand all the drama. Um, I don't know if this is resonating with any of you. Please leave me your comments down there. We're on number five now. So your friendships will change. 
the, the people that you've hung around with like for many, many years, you just will feel that, no, I can't be around them no more. don't know what it is, but I don't feel right about them. I can't talk to them about the things that I'm dealing with and I'm coping with and I'm actually living. I can't deal with their problems as well as all my problems and that's where I was with mine when I was going through my spiritual awakening. I couldn't hear about everybody else's problems. It was just about what I was going through and that was like very, um, a very, a very hard, a hard time in my life. I must say that it was a hard time in my life. So, number five, your friend, your friendships. As I was saying, your friendships will change, or or have changed, and different, more positive people should be coming into your life. And I f honestly felt that I had people coming up to tell me stuff. Like one day I was in Tesco's and a lad or a young guy came up and he was looking at the waters and the, you know, the, the all about the mineral bits. And he wasn't in the water section. He was there to make his own water, like to clean his own water. And he was talking to me about it and I was so interested. And he was so interested in talking to me, but I was busy and my friend was there, so we couldn't have a real big conversation. So I took that as a message for me, you see, and that's where I'm using my intuition. So, number six, self-development. You want to change yourself. You kind of like, you have this like, right, I'm going to do this now, and I'm going to do that now, and I'm going to be this now, and I'm going to be that now. And you're wanting... Um, wanting to change how you see things like now through your eyes now your eyes are, are awake and now you're spiritually there you now see things differently because your third eye is open so you have activated the inner, inner calling of yourself I do believe that once your third eye opens you become your higher self <clears throat> I remember concentrating on there was a higher self of me and then learning that, right, okay, I'm going to be my higher self today. How can I be my higher self? How, what would my higher self say? What would she do? And then I realized, okay, I am my higher self. And I've made sure I was my higher self. And I'm her most of the time. I really am now. Now these days I am. So, <clears throat> uh, number seven, we all have our what I call the inner eye, um, and it is open. I mean, you just have to know that you, if you have an imagination or you have an opinion on something that somebody may not have an opinion on, you know, you're questioning things that other people may not be questioning. You're noticing things that other people may be not noticing. And even to the point of seeing double numbers, that's another one. So, number eight, I see one, 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 four ones, right? One, 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 so 11, 11, the time. Or it just comes, I just see 11, 11, right? Now I believe that that's like another, another gateway. It's like a gate, it's like four lines, right? So visualize a gate, opening the gate and going through. That's how I see it. So you're going to another dimension, you're going to a higher, a higher level of consciousness when you're working on yourself and you're you're learning stuff and you want to learn and you're there and you're just, just trying to absorb as much as you can. Um, number nine, you'll study things. You'll be like on your computer and you're on your laptop or whatever it is and you'll be there going, all oh, right, well, so what does that mean? And then you find another thing and you're like, oh my God, I've got to watch that. And oh my God, they're talking to me. Like you'll think some things that I say to you will resonate with you so deeply that you'll understand why, what it means. I may have a, me a message for you. There may be something in that I say that will make you understand, gives you that aha moment, that, yeah, the clarity of, what you're going through it is um number 10 is your superpowers will come in and 
your superpowers will come in, your downloads will come, like that. And you'll just be so enlightened and you just feel so at one with yourself. And that's the most important part, is to understand who you are and why you're here and why this and why that. Question it. Go deep. Dig deep. And just feel good about yourself. Because if you're feeling good about yourself, everybody will feel good around you. If you're feeling bad about yourself, you will send out vibes. You try to stay on a level of, um, of balancing who you are, where you work, what you do, who you see, who your friends are, who your friends aren't. You know, look at that as a big picture and love yourself, treat yourself, take yourself for a, for a nice cup of coffee in a really posh restaurant. Treat yourself, look after you, and then everybody else will just come along. And they don't want to look after you, because you do such a good job of it, right? <laughs> so, I hope you've liked this video, and uh, I hope that you got something from this video. Remember to hit that like button, because that is what I need to see. Like, 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 like. Just keep liking it. Just keep liking them. And keep commenting. And keep coming back. Because you know you're worth it. Alright? Love. Light. And if you know me, you'll know the next words.